can ask Ken or Keith to please come up here just for a couple of minutes. Can you get Ken or Keith to come up? If everyone can make a, a nice round of applause for Ken or Keith. Ken or Keith is the guy who's headlining and organising the whole convoy. If it wasn't for Ken, none of this would be happening. So make some noise for Ken, please, everyone. You know, uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit older here. I'm 40, 42 years old now, but Young. deep, deep down, deep down, I, I look into this audience and I see, I see young people, and I, I'm sure that I can relate to most of you, if not all of you, to one degree or another. And that is that this fucking world is bullshit. Yes. And and the, and the way that it's it's happening is because we haven't realized our power and our ability to change it. And, and you know what, that, that is changing in a significant way. It's been an amazing time, I just got back from Gaza, six months there. And when I went to Gaza, back in November of last year, Mubarak was in power. None of these Arab uprisings had begun. And what, what I see now in this world is, in the Arab world, young people in particular, who've said, this is fucking bullshit, we're standing up, and it doesn't matter, you can kill us, you can torture us, you can imprison us, you can do whatever you want, and we're still going to fucking rise up. And, and, you know, I look to the West, and, you know, I'm proud, although I still got the Yank accent, I'm, I'm, I'm a proud Irishman as well, proud of my Irish roots. And, and I see, I see the, the strength in my brothers and sisters in Ireland, and I know the Scots, this is my first time in Scotland, I know that you've got a lot of strength and a lot of anger, and I can relate to that anger big time. And the thing is that anger is extremely powerful, and if it's directed in the wrong way, it becomes destructive, it doesn't really help out anyone, but if you direct that shit correctly, it's fucking powerful. Oh yes. And we can achieve anything that we want. And I tell you what, being in Palestine is such an honor and such a blessing, because my brothers and sisters down there have been through some shit for decades. They've been dealing with the most racist, sadistic, nasty system, the Zionist system, and, and they still stand tall, they still have their dignity, and they'll die in droves, but they will never give up. They will never abandon their homeland, and they will continue to fight, but the rest of the world has largely abandoned them, but finally, finally, the world is starting to realize that that is our family over there. And I, I'll tell you what, while, while I was there, while I was there, I became close with the Samuni family, and if you don't know this family, during Operation Cast Lead a couple years back, the Israelis came into Gaza and they told this family, a large family, 200 plus members of the family, they told all of them to go into certain places and about 100 of them were told to go into one home and while they were in that home, the Israelis shelled it and they killed about 29 members of the family. We're talking about children who were dead and their corpses were next to their parents and you had parents whose corpses were on the ground next to the children and for days they were not allowed to get any medical help and when they did try to go out with white flags they were shot at and killed by the Israelis and, and this is what they dealt with and I, I became very close with this family including the children, very very close to this family they are my family now and what this project is for initially is for the Samuni family we're going to build a classroom for them we have the teaching staff ready to go and these kids which have been through fucking hell and back are, are already starting to see a future and they're smiling and, and it's such a blessing to be able to do this so the money that you spend tonight I'm telling you it's going to that but in the larger picture it, it's it's going to justice and I'm telling you where Palestine goes the rest of the world goes yep. if Palestine isn't free we're not going to be free yes. when we free Palestine this world will be free and there will be justice so I believe we should be focused on Palestine we should give everything to Palestine, and we should defeat this Zionist racist entity. Which yes. is yes. Yes. So anyway, thank you all very much for coming. It's my pleasure to be here, and thank you, my brother Reese. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Make some nice for Ken O'Keefe, people. Yes. Make some nice for Ken O'Keefe. Yes. yes.